What's up everyone? This is Sam, coach of your Great Lakes Grim Snarls and new founder of the Great Lakes Draft League. Um, I'm super excited to be bringing this to you guys today. Um, the coach reveals and division rosters for Season 1 of the Great Lakes Draft League. I'm super stoked to be bringing this to you guys and to be able to have as much interest as this league has gotten already. Um, I really, really did not expect to get the numbers that we've been getting and I was super thrilled that we were able to have three divisions of 12 people each which is outstanding. Um, the plan was at first do one division of 16 then we got enough to do two divisions of 16 and now we have th enough for three divisions of 12 so I could not be more excited for this. Um, I have this pretty uh, lengthy slideshow here. Uh, we have a slide for each coach and I'm just going to go through it pretty fast here I didn't ask for a ton of information from people, um, so I don't have a lot of personal things to tell. But uh, first, we're going to start off with the Superior Division. So uh, we have the three divisions, the Superior, Huron, and Erie. Superior is going to be the most competitive division. It's going to have generally the people with the most experience or the strongest battlers. Uh, the Huron Division is going to be in the middle, so it's going to have... It's going to be pretty competitive, but not as competitive as the Superior Division. And then the Erie Division is going to be for new battlers, or people who like to meme, or people who don't have as much experience. Uh, none of these divisions are for bad players. So please don't feel like just because you got placed in the Erie Division that we think you're a bad player. Prove us wrong. Prove that you deserve to be higher. And next season, you are not, you are not locked into the same division. We will move people up and down as much as we feel we need to. So make the case. For next season. Uh, but so starting off with the Superior Division, we have El Flamingo, or Wade. Uh, Wade is on the mod team and the tiering committee, uh, so the tiering committee for now isn't really doing much. Before the season, there were five of us who voted on uh, suggested tier changes, and then uh, after the, between Season 1 and Season 2, uh, after Season 1 ends, we will be voting on some more changes based on Maybe some mons perform better than we thought in a certain tier or whatever. Uh, but his team is the Kukuru Crabhammers, and his draft league experience is he got second in the Pokemon Battle Kingdom. Um, he actually beat me out to get there. Uh, and in the restricted Pokemon draft league, he is in the Diamond Division, which is the middle division, and he's currently uh, heading for playoffs. So I believe week eight just is just finishing. Um, so yeah, Wade's a terrific battler and a great buddy of mine, so I'm super glad that he was willing to jump on board with me here. Uh, next up is Sasori. Uh, he is the coach of the Greedy Greninjas. Um, he only has done one draft league before, but he's currently 5-1 in the regular season. Uh, he may be 6-1 now, actually. But um, he should be 6-1. And, and the, v the VBA, VGC Battle Association, I'm also in that, um, if you follow my channel, you've seen content from that league. It's a very, very competitive league, so to be, be five and, or six and one this far along is really good. Uh, so Sori is a relatively new draft player, but he's a very strong uh, opponent. Next up is Dan, and he is uh, another part of our mod team and tiering committee. Uh, his team for this one is the Terrible Trubai. Uh, he seems to really want people to plug that, those Latin words, into Google Translate. So uh, I'll leave you to do that. Um, draft experience, he was the winner of the VGC Shadow League, which was his first ever league. He went 10-0 in regular season. Uh, VGC Battle Association, he's currently 7-0 in the regular season. He's the only undefeated player in that league now. Um, and then in the MDL, Max Doubles League, he was 5-4 in Season 2, and he's currently 1-0. In, um, in Season 3. He made playoffs in Season 2 as well. Um, Dan is a terrific battler. He helped me put together the tier list a lot. So I'm also glad to have Dan on board for the, the mod team. Next up is Joshi Washi. Uh, he is the coach of the Jubilife City Jirachis. One of the best logos. This logo is amazing. Um, he was undefeated. He's currently undefeated going into semifinals with the GGPL. Uh, in the LEG, he got top four in all four seasons he's played, and then he's gotten second and fourth in other leagues that he did not specifically list on his application. 
but Joshiwashi, I am I've never played him before and I was I don't I didn't know him before this, but he has some of the strongest results out of anyone and very consistent results. Top four in four seasons of a league is is nothing to scoff at. Next up, Toxic Crusader. Um, he is the coach of the Tennessee Talon Flames. Um, in the Max Doubles League, in seasons in season one, he was four and seven. He almost made playoffs, and he had a very strong end of the season. Uh, and then in season two, he's currently or he was four and four, also barely missed playoffs with a strong comeback in the late in the late season. And season three is currently active. 200 Candies is our next coach for the Superior Division. His team name is 200 Candies. Uh, he has played in the British Pokemon League, Pokemon Elite Draft, and Master Balls Draft. So he has a lot of experience. Uh, next up is Snake King 407. Uh, he is the coach of the Alluring Alchemies. And his draft experience is he plays second, fourth, and fifth in, th in three seasons of the Jank Draft League. And he got top eight in the Poke Sports Draft League, which I. I do know the Poké Sports Draft League was a pretty competitive league. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to have Snake King on board. He has very consistent results, and he's shown that he can consistently place well, so I'm glad to have him in the upper division. Next up, Chris Allen VGC. This is the logo he put on, so Chris, this is your logo, unless you give me a new one. This is it. Um, but his team name is the Ocala Obstagoons. Uh, he was the winner of Season 1 of the Pokémon Battle Kingdom. He beat me in finals for that one, um, and he made playoffs in season two, but got eliminated. Um, he also played in SSBG, where he was a finalist. Evergrand League, where he barely missed playoffs. Nido Kings and Arcanines Facebook group leagues, where he he said he didn't perform very well, but he has also pretty consistent results, and probably the best logo here so far. So I'm uh, glad to have Chris on board. Next up is. I'm going to butcher the pronunciation of this, but Bene Protane? It's French. Uh, I know him as Ben. Ben is a great player. I played with him in the Pokemon Battle Kingdom League where he got top 8. Um, he had an 8 and 2 season, I believe, or, or 9 and 1. I think 8 and 2. Uh, he is the House Luxray, is his team, and he also was a two time champion of the Quebec Pokemon League, which is pretty amazing. Next up, Gumi2020, probably one of the most experienced players in the league. Um, his team is the Rolled Gold Pretzels, and he has played in 10 VGC leagues, and he's never missed playoffs. So that shows that he's very, very consistent and a great player. He beat me in one of the leagues we play in together, and I could not be happier to have Gumi on board for this one. Uh, next up is Keaton. Uh, he has he is the d coach of the Dallas Deli Birds, and all he listed was he will troll you to the championship. He uh, he told me to ask around for his experience, but I didn't. So um, he seems to have a choice scarf Deli Bird on his logo, um, and I guess he's gonna troll to the championship of the Superior Division. Next up is me, um, Wakeman VGC. I am the owner, so I am technically on the mod team and also part of the tiering committee. Uh, my team name is Great Lakes Grim Snarls. I play second in season one of the Pokemon Battle Kingdom and third in season two. RPDL uh, was my first league I've missed playoffs in. Um, and the VGC Battle Association, I'm currently four and two in the regular season. Uh, I could not be happier to be here. All right, next up is the Huron Division. So this is our middle division in terms of competition level. First up is Bubble Hulk. Uh, he is the coach of the Gardner Guzzlords, and he did one season with a random guy, apparently. Um, and he helped start the VGA or the VGC Battle Association or the VBA Draft League. And in season two, he's currently four and three with a pretty solid shot at the playoffs. Next up is EM Burst. He is the coach of the Kambana or Chambana, I don't know, Shellos. Uh, he has five years of singles draft experience, and in the MDL Season 2, he made top eight, and Season 3 is currently ongoing. Krabby Shack VGC, coach of the Corpus Christi Krabbies. Uh, he, he played in an unknown Facebook group, and then uh, he made playoffs in, in Season 1 of the v VBA, 
And season two is currently ongoing, where he's floating around eighth to tenth place. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to have Krabby around. He is a good content creator and is a uh, good presence in the VBA. So I'm excited to have him as a presence in the GLDL as well. However, I will say, a little bit of a misplay. Your team is the Krabbies, but your logo is Kingler. It's not right. Uh, Toom, aka Scotty Boy as I know him, is the coach of the Psycho Cut Septiles. Uh, he reached playoffs in the Pokemon Battle Kingdom Season 2 Draft League, and is currently 5-2 in the RPDL Diamond uh, Restricted League. So he's having a very strong showing in both. Uh, he had a rough start to his season in the PBK, but he brought it back really hard. I think he was 0-3 or 0-4 and, and then brought it back to playoffs. So a very st solid showing. Um, I have also given him the award of most likely to take a screenshot of a Pokemon card and use it as his logo, because that's what this is. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to have two more on. Uh, Raz Raspberry uh, is the coach of the Detroit Delmise. Uh, his draft experience, he won the ACL once and placed second the other time. He made the playoffs in the EDL and is currently sitting around 6th to 8th maybe ninth, 10th place in the VBA. Uh, Raz is also a pretty consistent and uh, enter very entertaining content creator, so I'm also excited to have him uh, committed to this league. Drink Beer for Jesus uh, is the coach of the Nexus Ironworks. He's a very experienced VGC player with uh, some pretty good results, but this is his first draft league. Uh, next up is Rainbow Boy. And he's the coach of the Snowpoint Sylveons. Uh, he has been in the VDL, PBF, and NBC. Uh, he didn't list exactly how he did in those, but um, I gave him the award of most clever wordplay because he combined the Glaceon and Sylveon's names there. I saw what you did there. Uh, Mboss11 um, is the coach of the Milwaukee Mammal Swines. And he uh, has only done one draft league, but he got top eight, and it was the Poke Sports Draft League, which, as I said before, was a, was a pretty competitive league. Um, I love this logo, too. He said he made it pretty quickly, but it's very simple, but I like it. So good to have Emboss here. Uh, the Fifth Leaf, uh, he placed 13th in Season 1 of the VBA. He's coached with the Latchkey Kids, and Season 2 is currently ongoing. He is a terrific player, very good at prepping, very good at helping people prep and uh, in the VBA he makes really good content and I know he uh, streams on Twitch a lot with Nuzlocke content and stuff so he's a great player. Uh, next up is Niels. Uh, he is coach of the Belgium Beldums. I love the name. Uh, he plays third in the Dawn Draft League, fourth in the Dumb Draft League. He's He dropped. He had to drop sadly at one in five in the RPDL Diamond. And in the ZBA, he's currently 2-2. Two and two. So pretty consistent results all around. Uh, Rambo1711, or Omar, um, coach of, the e of Egypt's Fluttering Flygons. Uh, he was a finalist in the PBK Singles Draft League. In the PBK VGC Series 1, he made playoffs. And then he got top 8 in a monotype draft league. And uh, finally here for the Huron Division is uh, Question Mark, or my brother Elijah who is also part of the mod team and the tiering committee. Um, he is coach of the Shady Shuckles, and he narrowly missed playoffs in Season 2 of the PBK VGC Draft League. So I'm excited to have him committed to this league. He's a, he's a great player. Next up is the Erie Division, which is the lower skill of the three and more and less competitive. Uh, first up is Panda Wannabe. He's coach of the P Baltimore Pangorials, and he's run his own league before. And he is currently playing in the Elite Pokemon League. Uh, Tiny Gambit King, coach of Born in Chaos. And this is his first draft league, so excited to have you here. Uh, Poppy Canton, I don't know if, uh, Canton, Canton. Uh, coach of the Boston Cantons, uh, I love the logo. Uh, he was in the Little Root Lessons League and the Rotom Depot draft. Uh, so he's a little bit more experienced. So, But he also didn't list his... Uh, Results. So I'm, I'm glad to have you here, Poppy. Uh, Wonder Boy, coach of the Cali Ninjas. 
This is his first draft league, so I'm I'm also excited to have you here, Wonder Boy. I hope I hope this is a good first draft league experience for everyone who's just starting. Uh, Rolo, coach of the Mass Magikarps. Oh. <laughs> I I don't need to say anything. This logo is amazing. Um, he got third place in season one of the VBA, and is currently sitting at tenth with a few more weeks left in season two. And uh, on his application, he put, "I live and die by the meme." Um, so you will enjoy. You'll enjoy playing against Rolo. Just don't let him pick Clefable. Cause he's a he's a beast with Clefable. I promise you that. All right. SF Paul is next, and he made playoffs in several leagues. Um, he didn't list the specifics, but making playoffs in multiple leagues is, shows consistency. So I'm excited to have him here. He's the coach of the Ohio Oshawats. Again, love the logos. The, lo the logos in this league have been pretty pretty awesome. Uh, da Tobster, he is less experienced. He has one uh, league under his belt, which is the PBK VGC Draft League. And um, he is the coach of the Chicago Cub Foos. Uh, this is Ed. He's coach of the Ninja Zards. I like the logo. Um, he was 3-7 and seven in the PBK VGC League, and he's 1-7 and seven in the RPDL Diamond League. Um, really great guy. Really good battler. Uh, I'm excited to have Ed around. Uh, Indigo1313 is the coach of the Boise State Ursa Rings. Um, he was a semifinalist in a singles league. And he is uh, playoffs bound in a VGC league that he didn't name. But that was enough for me. Uh, glad to have you here. Uh, R2 is the coach of the Seattle Super Lax. Um, he placed fifth uh, in season one of the Wiggly Tough Battle Guild uh, draft league. And season two is currently ongoing. And he's also in the Galactic Alliance draft league, which is also ongoing. Jaden1200 is the coach of the West Coast Braviaries. Um, and this is his first draft league as well, so, again, I hope you enjoy this as your first league. Uh, Hungry Hippo, he, he's representing here, Lake Erie Ish Wishy Washies. Uh, he is, he was a playoffs coach in the SSAPC, and in the UGA, the Universal Gaming Association, he plays fourth. The UGA is a very good league. Alright, well, that's it for all the coaches. Um, here you can see the final rosters. I hope this is updated. I pretty sure it is. Yeah, it should be. If you don't see yourself on here, but you were in the video, the video is right. The slideshow is right. This might might not be, but I believe this is everything. So yeah, um, thanks for watching everyone. I will be making a couple more videos within the next few days going over the rules and some of the um, draft features, but um, anyone who doesn't have a logo yet, um, if you could get that to me as soon as you can so that I can put it into your Draft League NL page, that would be greatly appreciated. Um, well yeah, thank you for watching everyone. I am very excited uh, to be running this league and to be playing in a, in a few weeks. So thanks for, to everyone for your interest in the league and I hope that Everybody has a good rest of your day, and I will see you soon for more content.